38 people have died in Mexico after a fire swept through a migrant detention center. The president says the blaze broke out when migrants and asylum seekers set fire to mattresses after discovering that they were being deported. It happened in the northern city of Juarez near the border with the United States. John Holman reports. A phalanx of ambulances. They came too late for many. The fire at a migration detention facility in the Mexican border city of Juarez had already claimed dozens, many of them Guatemalans, some Venezuelans. Desperate relatives had nothing to do but mourn or wait for news. You could have a relative die and they don't tell you he's dead. Nothing. Immediately there were questions. Chiefly, how did the fire start? In his early morning press conference, Mexico's president arrived with answers. It was the migrants themselves, he said. This had to do with a protest that they started when they found out they would be deported. They put mattresses at the shelter's doors and set fire to them. They didn't think it would cause this terrible tragedy. Protests have happened before in Mexico's state migration centers. Those who've stepped through their doors often describe them as overcrowded prisons. But this time round, there are more questions. How did authorities allow this to happen to those under their care? Biangli, a Venezuelan migrant, says she was outside when it happened. I've been waiting for their father since 1 p.m. It told me they were going to hand him over to me. Then at 10 p.m., we started to see smoke billowing from everywhere. Everybody ran away, but they left the men locked in. Everybody was removed from the area, but they left the men locked in. They never opened the door. Ciudad Juarez, where the detention center is located, has become a pressure cooker in recent months, with large numbers of migrants and asylum seekers staying there before a push to get to the U.S. Shelter heads and activists have accused authorities of criminalizing them. On Monday night, the pressure cooker boiled over. Now, amid the grief, the inquest will begin. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City. Ari Sawyer is a U.S. border researcher for Human Rights Watch. She says that conditions in the migrant detention facilities are often dire. These deaths and injuries are the direct result of um, deterrence policies, right, carried out by U.S. and Mexico that focus on criminalizing migrants and asylum seekers instead of um, legal processes. So we've documented at Human Rights Watch the abusive conditions within these facilities, and we understand that the migrants were protesting um, uh, poor conditions there. They were protesting a uh, lack of water. They hadn't been given any water. Um, and a leaked video that I've, I've just seen shows that uh, shows appears to show immigration officials leaving them locked inside of that cell as, as the fire blazed on. So it's just completely inexcusable. Also, those doors, um, are they don't have an easy release. There's no electronic release um, that needs a key. And and we know that there are um, there's physical abuse inside those detention facilities. They're often overcrowded. We understand that that particular detention facility, you know, in the Mexican government, right, like says that it, they're called shelters. They call them shelters, but they are detention facilities. People are locked up um, um, and they were overcrowded in that particular room. 